Hello artists! In this video, I'm going to share with you my process for creating original designs. I'm going to show you how I draw a pattern and then select colors to come up with this beautiful geometric design. This colorful project is just one of many in my video, Fused Art Design. I begin with a plain piece of paper and dimensions for my project. I come up with the dimensions based on the mold that I want to use to slump this piece of art. I measure my slumping mold and then draw the design accordingly. This piece of art is going to be a 10 inch by 10 inch square. The first step is to establish the size and the shape. I'm using a ruler and a pencil to draw my square. I draw everything in pencil first because then I have the flexibility of erasing it and changing things if needed. Going in, I knew I was going to do a geometric pattern, so now I'm going to add a half inch wide border to my design. I like to draw borders because they visually frame in the piece and it's also a terrific place to punch up the color and reinforce some of the other colors used in the pattern. The square is a very common shape, so I'm going to add a notch to the border to make my design a little bit more unique. And this is where working with a pencil comes in handy because I can erase those unwanted lines. And now the fun begins. I'm going to just start drawing some different shapes and designs in here and let this pattern kind of develop organically. By adding these different lines, I'm breaking up this square shape and making it much more interesting. I like the idea of using transparent and opaque glasses in this project. So some of these border areas is where I'll use a light transparent color that light will go through and it really gives me a nice comparison or contrast to the opaque colors. Now the design is getting a lot more interesting. I want to draw enough details that I can change colors and materials, but I also don't want to make this too busy because glass is so beautiful and we have so many varieties of colors and patterns to choose from. In some areas, I want to allow the glass to make this piece really special and not make it too busy with lines. Plus, every line you add is another piece of glass that you have to cut. The wonderful thing about glass fusing is we can layer our materials. So in some cases, we can ignore some of these lines and just use maybe stringers or noodles or some other details to give us a visual interest without adding more pieces. When I design this way, I plan a little bit how I want to draw out my pattern, but when it comes to selecting glass, I allow myself the flexibility to ignore some of these lines or add lines depending upon how the project is developing. I really enjoy working on projects with this type of artistic flow. Now I'm going to start introducing some color and see where I might like to have more design details. I went over my pencil lines with a black marker. This makes it easier to cut the glass over the top of the pattern and make sure that my pieces are accurately cut. Here I'm making a transparent window in a black field of glass. I thought this would be a great way for light to come through the artwork and show its transparency, the opacity, and show kind of a nice sense of contour and shape and color. Now what you see here is my design layer. I'm going to put all of these pieces on a clear base layer that will act as a platform when I load this piece in the kiln. Now for the fun part, I'm going to introduce some splatter dichroic to the top. I love this particular pattern because it gives you a lacy design where you see some of the colors below, but it also adds a little extra something special to the top of the art. Now I'm going to move my design layer over to the base layer and I'm going to use a tiny bit of glue to glue these pieces in place so they don't shift when I transport this piece of art to the kiln. I like to build my projects with two complete layers and then accent details on top. When you build this way, you have real strong control over the finished size and shape of the artwork. And in addition, you have uniform thickness, which makes the project very durable. Are you noticing how that dichroic on the left side all works together? The pattern is uniform. It runs right behind that green border. Just love that detail. And then here's the piece after it's been slumped. And look at the beautiful velvety color we have there. I just really love slumping pieces. It adds so much to the art. You can see the full assembly start to finish of this project in my video, Fused Art Design. In this video, I also show you how to draw and create organic designs and how you can draw your fused glass art designs on the computer. 
I hope you enjoyed seeing how to make this project. Until next time, keep on fusing. I have a series of instructional videos available on my website. My videos are available as downloads and DVDs. In addition, I have eight eBooks that you might enjoy. For tips, tricks, and tutorials sent straight to your inbox, visit my website and follow my blog. And be sure to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on YouTube. Wherever you are in your artistic journey, you're doing great. Keep up the terrific work. Happy fusing!